challenge let's do it before we start today's video i would like to ask all my viewers to subscribe to my youtube channel how engineers do it to share the video among all of your friends and also hit the bell icon to never miss another update in this video we're going to see how we can add an additional axis in the excel dashboard or the trend chart so here we can see that an additional axis is being added and the advantage of having an additional axis is that you'll be able to have a better visualization now by default excel allows you to add a primary axis and a secondary axis now let me explain you the the importance importance of having an additional axis now you can see that the the type of data we are trying to present here is one is in uh, uh, ten thousands and one is in uh, ten lakhs and one is in under hundreds now if you try to plot them in one or uh, two under two axes for example if you try to plot uh, a 21 or 23 in this graph if if this wasn't there then we are probably not going to see those uh, those plottings we are going to see them on the uh, on the most bottom portion here and will not be able to do any visualization with that now before we start with the explanation of how we can add this kind of axis, let me just go over here to the data that we have created this graph with. And in one of my previous videos, I've already explained how we can create a simple dynamic dashboard uh, using the pivot in Excel. Now, if you haven't watched that, I suggest you to go back and watch that. And if you've already watched that, then we can just proceed with this. Now, let me just quickly show how the date, the this particular graph response quickly and dynamically uh, to the changes whatever change we make in the pivot in the filter we can see that the graph is responding pretty quick and also you have an option to select multiple items from this and analyze now this kind of presentation is uh, pretty useful for uh, senior management now let me just uh, close this excel here and we'll come back to this sheet I'm just going to delete this as well and we'll start fresh now I have just copied the table here and this table is enough for us to explain how the graph works in fact I tried to record this video a couple of times and I was getting um, some some hanging issues um, because of the size of the data so I just copied whatever is relevant for me to explain you guys how this adding of additional axis works now let me just uh, quickly start by adding a blank sheet so I'm just going for a blank sheet here a blank sheet is being added I'll just keep it on the left side here and go for right click and select data and add I'm just adding this oops no that's not something I have to do I have to go here and add this and go for average salary that's the title the title is average salary perfect now I'll add one more and here this is a data set and this is a heading okay and go for this all right now the first part is done now let me come here and add the access titles and you have to even add the access title for okay I haven't added the secondary access yet and I'll also add uh, the chart title all right now let's just go to the chart type and go for combo and select the line as the option and we'll keep one of those uh, data as a uh, secondary axis now you can see that this part is pretty simple now let me just go here and go for marker and keep an eight point for these I also keep the same I'll do the same thing just put a marker option all right 
now that's added now what I'll do next is I'll just try to link uh, this access titles with uh, the average salary so that's this and also this one equals this guy here and we'll also add the access title for the secondary vertical and I'll select this guy here go for equal to and select the average bonus and that's updated I will just try to give the same color for average salary it is uh, again let me just see it's 16,000 so 16,000 so that's average salary so that's blue so this side I'll try to give blue and this side I'll try to give uh, 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 this color orange color now let me just select this and go for text options and go for solid fill and go for blue all right I also do the same thing here go for uh, text options and go for blue all right do the same thing here go for text options go for blue or not not blue it's it's this color and similarly go for this and take this color all right now we need to add two lines over here now i'll tell you why we are doing that it is that we'll we'll create a duplicate of this chart and we'll try to uh, um, overlap that chart to this chart so that's what we're trying to do and i'll be explaining that in detail so don't worry about that just go for solid fill and oops what's happened that's not what something which i wanted to do so apologies select that uh, axis again and we need a fill option so that's what we're trying to do here text fill no. access option we need access option in access option we have to go for the fill option and go for solid line so and go for the blue line go for a 2.5 thickness right do the same thing here go for access options and go for the fill option and go for solid line and here we have to select this color and give a 2.5 thickness so I'm saying 2.5 so that we'll have a standard thickness right now what we need to do next is we have we basically have the uh, the chart the chart almost ready now I'll just name this as uh, salary bonus what else um, salary bonus and experience right experience now so this is like you're, you're naming your chart so it's a good practice to name your chart all right now you have to keep some some things in mind maybe you need to watch this tutorial a couple of times to get this right but it's worth it if, if you are if you're someone who keeps presenting data to the senior management then getting an option to add an additional access is definitely going to be very very helpful all right so um what we'll do next is just select this and go for Control d and you have a duplicate here right now let me go here and go for select data and add and select this and select averages of experience now this guy is coming in the picture right perfect click on ok and select these two guys here and select the years again perfect now we have a gray color if you like green then you can go for green as well here so the line and you can select green if you like to see green and here as well you need to change it to green everything to green now text options again text fill and go for green okay go here now this is access options and access options you can come here 
and uh, and next is options probably it's text options and you need to select green here right and also you need to change the line color here so again that's access options and again the the paint bucket and here you have to select green i know it's a little frustrating to keep changing colors but it's worth it you know once you do that once you get the hang of it then it's really worth it now we need to come here we have to do a couple of things which you know which you will see uh, one thing to do here you have to get rid of this but you cannot delete this if you delete this the size of the chart is gonna change so you have to get rid of it so i'll just go for um, uh, text option and i'll go for no fill and we have to get rid of this as well we cannot delete it the same reason I'll go for no fill and also last but not least i'll just uh, remove this as well I'll go for access options again paint bucket and we have to put a line here that solid line and we can give any color i'll just go for black and again 2.5 and i'll tell you the reason why i'm doing this now uh, what i'm going to do is okay let me just quickly remove the shape outline here i don't need any outlines anymore no outline okay i'm not having any outline i'm also removing the fill in this so I have a pretty blank <clears throat> also yeah I'll also delete those lines on that right So all the outlines are removed now. Now the next thing is to bring this chart to this place here. All right, now this is our task, the next task. Now, we'll, we'll do the same thing of uh, keeping the marker, marker options built in, and we'll keep a round marker with a size of eight. Okay, now we have that done. Also, go for the marker and fill. We'll just change the fill to the color which we wanted. That's green. Okay, now that's done. I'll just try to put this here. Now, the reason why I've made it black is because I'm going to remove it. Once I keep a proper, um, once I'm going to keep it. In a proper place i'm going to remove that mark uh, that black color now i'm just keeping it here and there's one thing which needs to be done that's going for the access options and here there is something which you need to do which we call as jugad in uh, hindi so here we'll just give a little bit of spacing so once I do this, my graph is going to move on the right side. So this is exactly what I need. Now if I just keep it here, I can see that it's almost problem solved, I can say. So I'm just going to try to crush this a little bit so that, you know, it'll fall in place. And a little bit more, I guess. Now something happened just control z yeah so far so good so maybe i just need to i just need to move it a little more so i've just made it as 30 right i'll just make it as 29. now what exactly is happening here now um this is the minimum minimum point and this is a maximum point so i'm just trying to widen the gap here 
so this is widening here so this space is anyways having no data that's the reason we are getting an empty space here and we need empty space yeah now something happened let's explore that what happened now I think we almost have what we need if we just increase the size a little more that's what we need right and also make this yeah it's almost there so nothing to worry right I'll just take this again go for axis and the paint bucket and I'll just remove this line so that's it now the last thing to do right now the last thing to do is go for insert and go for the object and put a rectangle here all across and put it backward all backward and in here in the fill just give a white fill all right now again this is not one entity we still need to make it as a single entity right now how we can do that how we can achieve that now let me also remove the solid line which was there and we'll click one of the graphs in this and go for control a and everything will be selected here and then go for format and go for group now this is one entity that's all that you need to do and if you just just a second we'll just ungroup it once All right, so we're gonna select these one, two, and three, and go for format and go for group. Now this is one entity now, and you have this graph ready. So I suggest if, if in your case, when you try to increase this, if uh, the the size is getting disturbed, then I suggest that you go for the original size, in which you will not have problem and before grouping make that uh, adjustment and then you can uh, present it so when you move you're not going to have a problem it's going to move as a single entity so that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed this thank you so much and stay tuned